Well hello folks and welcome to another video. So in this video we're going to take a quick tour around my Sony AX53 camcorder. So folks, we're going to start by taking a look at the top of the camcorder. So, start at this end. So this is the lens, guys. Now we're not going to worry too much about the lens at the moment, guys. We're just going to really concentrate on the top. So the first thing we come across is this. So this is the built-in microphone. And Sony call it a 5.1 channel surround microphone. Now, I'm not really sure what uh, that's meant to be or what's meant to sound like, but I have to say that for a built-in microphone, it doesn't sound too bad. It's certainly not the worst I've heard. Definitely not the best, but it's certainly not the worst. Anyway guys, so that's the microphone. So now we're going to travel slowly towards the back. So the next thing we come across is this. So this is a little secret door that uh, has a little secret behind it. So uh, I think we should take a look at the little secret. So what we do is you just sort of uh, put your thumbnail or fingernail under this slot and flick this little door open. Now the first thing is this door is quite flimsy, but more about that in a moment. So the first thing we reveal is a hot shoe. Now that's not a standard hot shoe, that is what Sony calls a multi-interface shoe. So although it's pretty much the same size as a standard hot shoe, up in this end, and I don't know how easy it is to see, but uh, certainly right up in there, in this sort of end up in there, under this sort of a uh, piece of metal here, there are several little uh, connectors. So the idea being that when you uh, slide in a Sony branded uh, accessory, be it a microphone or a light or something like that, these little connections in there actually make contact. So if you was to say have a uh, Sony microphone, you can pair the microphone uh, from the built-in battery on the camcorder and uh, also the uh, audio signal will go into the camcorder instead of using the 3.5mm socket. Uh, I believe also there is a um, Sony light that you can uh, slide into that that will also take its power from the Sony battery. Now, that sounds all well and good, but the problem is, or two problems are, as I said first guys, this is very, very flimsy, not very, very good at all, quite poor. And the other thing is that I found, if you use anything with a um, standard hot shoe, something like that guys, this is my Boya BY MM1 microphone. So this sort of mounting plate here is probably a pretty standard size for a microphone. But what you find is that when you push it on, I don't know how easy it will show, but uh, probably not. But when you push it on, if you can see, I don't know why you can see that, but when you push it on, this actually will foul, the front of this will actually foul the front of the um, hot shoe or certainly foul the um, little connectors so when you push it on this will not actually go fully on it's uh, it's uh, probably yeah it's a fair way off now that doesn't actually affect the way it clamps down guys that clamps down perfectly well but the problem is when you screw this the actual clamp down because it's quite wide clamps this quite wide, the actual uh, clamp of the microphone or light or anything fouls on here. Although there is actually a little cutout, it actually fouls on there guys, so you see? So the problem is, as soon as you tighten the wheel down, it fouls on this bracket and it will f and it flicks it up and I think then because that's now quite vulnerable I think that is in uh, danger of being broken off so I think that uh, probably not uh, the best of uh, Sony designs but you know the it works but it's a bit vulnerable now there is a um, straighten the camcorder up there guys so now it is uh, there is uh, several adapters uh, available that will um, raise up the uh, light or your microphone clear of that. I think one of them I was looking at earlier was a company uh, called JJC. I'm not sure uh, 
or anything else, but I did have a look at it, but there are adapters available. But uh, it's not a brilliant uh, design. You know, uh, hats off for Sony for putting in a, a hot shoe, but um, I think the design is a bit poor. But anyway, that's just my opinion, guys. So now we're going to shut the door down. And once it shuts down, it makes the top of the camcorder look very, very neat. So, travelling uh, to the back of the camcorder. So the next thing we come across here, this is just the zoom sort of pretty standard sort of zoom button if you like guys so the wide and the telephoto now the more you push it the faster the zoom gets so a little bit of a push you'll zoom slowly and uh, the more you uh, slide it backwards and forwards whoops use the camera the more you slide it backwards and forwards guys the faster it will zoom uh, right so the next button we have here this is I suppose uh, a shutter button you will call it because you can take stills with this so that works in conjunction with this button here. You can't very well see it, it's recessed uh, in there, but that basically uh, switches between video and photographic mode. So when you're in photographic mode, you would then use that there to take a picture. But uh, it's not that easy to see because it is recessed. I think the idea being so it's not to, too easy to uh, swap between the two. Now, one last thing I'll show you guys. This is your viewfinder. Now this will pop out, I don't know if actually stay in the shot, but this is your viewfinder and to turn the camcorder on you just pull it out, it's slightly gone out of the shot there guys, so what we'll do is we just turn it slightly, so there you go, that's a bit more in shot guys, so that will, um, that turns on the camcorder and you can just operate that up and down to give you different uh, angles, but uh, slide it back in and uh, it will turn it off. Now on the side here, you can't really see it until we turn the camcorder around, but on the side here, there's a um, little thumb wheel that you can use to actually focus the eyepiece. So guys, that's the top of the camcorder. So now we're gonna take a look at the, um, we'll take a look at the right hand side. So for me, this would be the right hand side here, guys. So we're gonna take a look at the right hand side. So uh, just bear with me. So here we are, guys. We're now on the right hand side of the camcorder. So. Uh, Pretty uh, standard camcorder type strap, uh, adjustable, just sort of pull the Velcro uh, strip apart, adjust it to your size of your hands and re, uh, reattach it if you like guys. So uh, yeah, it's pretty standard sort of strap that is guys. Right, so the first thing I'm going to take a look at is on the bottom right here, there is a headphone uh, output, headphone jack, 3.5mm headphone jack hidden under that nice little uh, sort of a rubbery door there. Not lovely, rubbery. <laughs> so uh, that's very good because what you can do is with that guys, you can listen to uh, any of the uh, videos that uh, you've got recorded onto your memory card if you want to play back and uh, listen to any of the audio. And the other thing you can do with it is monitor the audio uh, whilst you're recording. So nice little feature there. Now under this little door here guys, just slide that open. On the bottom, there is our all important microphone socket standard 3.5 mil microphone socket and above that is what sony just call a multi socket this a usb socket they call it a, a multi socket now what you can do with that guys you can transfer images data videos whatever you like to call them off of your uh, memory card and onto your computer it will also charge the built-in battery and the other thing it does, it enables you to connect uh, Sony branded accessories. And there's a couple of accessories I've uh, got my eye on. So the first one is a wired remote control. So uh, when you plug it into that, you will then get the usual start, stop, record button on that, which is, I think, a useful feature. And there is also another accessory, which uh, I do really want, but uh, it is quite expensive being a Sony brand. And it is a little pistol grip that uh, will also double up as a little tabletop tripod but what that has that uh, has the controls for start stop recording as well but it mimics the uh, start and stop recording controls which are on the back which we'll take a look at in a moment but uh, other than that there's nothing else really to show what i will show you this though guys just point that out that little thumb wheel there which is recessed that is the um focus uh wheel for the um, rear uh, eyepiece, if you like, guys. So that's that. So 
So what we'll do now guys, we'll just take a brief look at the back of the camcorder. It's not a massive amount to show on the back, we'll just take a, a brief look at the back of the camcorder. So guys, here we are, we're now looking at the back of the camcorder. So the first thing we see is the uh, Sony battery. So far, uh, the, the life of the battery or record life of the battery is actually quite good. Again, they're very expensive to buy a, a Sony branded battery, but uh, as I say guys, there's the battery there. Now, on the right hand side, over here is the start and stop record button here. So one press to start and another press to stop. And under this little door here, guys, you can't see it very well there, but there's a little door there, and you just pop that down there. Little charging socket, a weird sort of a Sony type charging socket. It doesn't look to be a, anything to, too standard, but there's a charging socket, so what you would do that, you would plug a uh, your charger into that, uh, you leave the battery connected to the uh, camcorder and uh, charge it up whilst it's connected and it just plugs into that. So that's really all we got on the on the back guys, apart from obviously the the viewfinder there or the eyepiece there. Now we're not going to take a look at the bottom of the camcorder guys because there's nothing really on the bottom of the camcorder apart from the standard quarter 20 uh, tripod bush and just about here just, just past the battery, there's a little um, sliding switch. You just slide it forward and that enables the battery to drop out. So there we are guys, that's the back of the camcorder. So now we're gonna take a look at the uh, front of the camcorder guys, so just bear with me. So folks, here we are, we're now at the front of the camcorder. So uh, just gonna remove the uh, little lens cover. And uh, you see that the camcorder has also got a little built-in blind which uh, pops open as soon as you power it up. So I will uh, show you that in a moment, guys. So the filter thread on the front of the camcorder is 55mm. Now, I don't know whether you can actually see that uh, in the picture, but I actually have a 55mm UV filter screwed onto the front of the camcorder. Now, I'm sure there's lots of people out there that would uh, disagree with the uh, putting a UV filter on the front of the camcorder uh, saying that it would probably add a colour cast, uh, an extra piece of glass will um, sort of uh, make the picture quality not as good um, and all those things are true uh, but there's also those people that will suggest that uh, by putting a UV filter on it actually protects the front lens. Now me personally I think I would rather uh, protect the front lens of this camcorder and I will show you why in a moment. So, to uh, turn the camcorder on, we just literally pull the door open, or pull the screen open, I should say, and on pops the camcorder. So now, you see the little uh, thing, the uh, little shutter or blind, what you want to call it, uh, shot out of the way, and you can see the lens in the front of there. Now that lens is actually uh, open to the elements. So, this camcorder actually has what Sony calls a uh, BOSS, or balance optical stabilization system I think that's what it is so what we do is with that the the actual lens and um, I suppose sensor uh, setup is almost like in a tube I suppose guys so it's in a, in a gimbal like a gimbal so it actually gives excellent stabilization so you can actually see guys but the cat has landed on the table yes <laughs> So bear with me and the cat. Right, so guys, I don't know how easy it is to show you, but if I loosen the clamp on here, can you see that lens is actually moving? So that's where you get that excellent stabilization from. So that is uh, the BOSS stabilization system. Absolutely brilliant. Now the problem with that is that uh, element there, all that in there is actually open. So it's very, very difficult to get in there and actually clean that. So that's probably the main reason why I've actually put uh, the UV filter on. So you shut the door down and the camcorder switches off and you see the blind shoots across. Now, the other thing is with this camcorder, because it's got a quite uh, wide lens, it's very, very difficult to actually get a lens hood 
I have put a lens hood on it and I bought a lens, lens hood and the various step up rings and all that. That was a complete failure. So uh, I'm still going to pursue that because I think in certain instances we do need a lens hood. But uh, that's something I'm going to be looking at in the future. But guys, that is the front of the camcorder. Uh, you can see some, with the microphone being on the top, there's also a grill here as well. And it's a Zeiss lens. So it's an excellent quality lens. Right guys, so we're now going to lastly take a look at the left hand side of the camcorder and uh, some of the controls on that guys, so just bear with me. So guys, we're now looking at the left hand side of the camcorder and where most of the controls are. So the first thing we see is here, a little secret door there and pop that down and in there is a mini HDMI out. So you can plug that to your television, that sort of thing. So just snap that shut. Now the next thing here, this button here, is uh, to turn the camcorder off because as soon as you open the uh, screen, uh, the camcorder turns itself on. Now if I wanted to remove the memory card or change the memory card, I certainly wouldn't want the camcorder to be on. It may corrupt the files, so I always turn off the camcorder with that button. Uh, next button up is night shot, so that uh, really just puts the camera into night mode. So it sets everything up to do night shot, which is a, quite a good feature. I haven't actually tried that yet. That's something I will try. So that's that one. Now the next button up, guys, this one here, that is just a uh, playback. So uh, if you wanted to uh, play back any uh, videos that you've got stored on your memory card, uh, you can play back uh, using that one. Now the next thing we have next to that is another little secret door. So we pop that open there. And there houses your uh, SD card. So in there's your SD card. Uh, if you're going to use uh, shoot 4K, guys, make sure you use a good SD card. So under there's the SD card again. Oh, nicely neat and tied on these little doors and flaps. Now, lastly, this button here. I have to say, I'll hold my hand up and say, I haven't got a clue what that does. Uh, probably because I haven't read the instructions too much. But uh, I will find out uh, what that does. Uh, not quite sure could be voice control I don't know guys but anyway and just up here guys I don't know why you can see that but that was the uh, little button I was talking about that uh, switches the camcorder from uh, video to uh, stills pictures so that guys is uh, the main controls of the camcorder and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, show you some of the the menus of the camcorder now I'm not going to get heavily involved in any of the specs of the camcorder, any of the menus. I'm just going to show you uh, what the menu looks like, guys. So just uh, bear with me a moment. So, guys, we're now looking at the screen of the camcorder. So, uh, what we've got here is a touch center uh, screen, guys. So, the first thing we've got down here, that little red button there, that is to start and stop recording. And then the two little buttons above, or two little sensitive pads, if you like, at the top above that are the zoom in and out. Then you have the battery level. And in the top left, you have the menu button. And uh, in the bottom left, uh, you can see that that word actually says zoom. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to show you the, um, the function of that manual button. So I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. Sorry for the shake. So I zoom out a little bit first. Right, so what we do is I press that. And that gives you... The menu. So if I just zoom in, guys, just bear with me. Oop, wrong way. So we're going to zoom in now. I will know while it focus. So what we've got at the minute, guys, the camera is uh, set to use the uh, ring on the front to uh, zoom. So if I wanted to use that as a zoom, I would now press the manual button again, and that would lock in the the zoom setting. But by turning the focus ring on the front or the little ring on the front, I can scroll through. The different settings so you have uh, zoom focus exposure iris shutter speed AE shift and uh, white balance shift and then the bottom one is uh, to reset so if I wanted to reset everything I would then press and hold the manual button again and it is reset to its default settings which is using it as zoom so guys that's uh, really the screen now I've got one thing to say about the screen really it's nice and clear Unless you're in bright sunlight. If you're in bright sunlight, 
forget it really <laughs> that's my experience guys but uh, as screens go it's uh, not too bad in normal light but in bright sunlight as I said forget it right so what I'll do now is zoom out a bit and I'm going to uh, just press the menu guys so you can actually see what the menu's like now I'm not going to get too technically involved in the menu I don't do technical stuff on this channel guys as you are well aware uh, so we're not going to get involved in all the text and the specs of the camera anyway and uh, any of the menu settings well, what I'm going to do is just show you what the menu settings look like so touch the button so there we are guys well, you can probably see my reflection there actually guys I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so uh, you can see right so going from uh, left to right we have shooting mode camera and microphone image quality and size uh, wireless playback and function and edit copy and setup right so really the shooting mode you can just choose between uh, the movie photographic uh, time lapse and high speed so that's uh, the shooting mode so if we just tap that and come back again guys so the next one is the uh, camera and microphone so you can set uh, change some of the settings of the the camera so white balance, spot metering, uh, spot focusing, exposure, focus, iris, you can all change that by just touching whatever part of the menu that uh, you desire. I'm getting a bit of reflection in there guys, let's see if I can change this side. So that really is just uh, the menu, you can just, uh, just scroll through, change a lot of the settings. Then go to the next one and there's the sort of, a, I don't know if you can see it, but down the side there are the different sorts of menus so you can change the microphone, uh, input levels, etc, etc, etc. So that's really the, uh, what you want to do and do the settings. Now the image quality and size so you can uh, change the frame rate. So we're set at 25 uh, in the minute. Uh, not sure what dual video record does. I think it records, um, you can actually record because the camcorder, I believe, has actually got a, a small built-in memory, so I think you can actually record one to each bit of the men, uh, memory. So uh, again, so file format, so whatever you want to record in, uh, AX VCS in 4K or AVC HD or XAVCS HD. So uh, that's the, the file format, guys. Let's just type it again. Uh, image size that is really uh, for your stills image so uh, be an 8.3 megapixel or 2 megapixel depending on what you want guys so that's that uh, so that's really it there um, wireless is just to set up for wireless remote control which is what we're using now guys so uh, other than that that's really it on this side guys um, again what did we do we did the uh, Playback and playback and function. I think that's just as that says. So you can actually set up the, um, you know, what you've what you've auto recorded. So that's playback and functions. I'm picking up. You're picking up my reflection, guys. Uh, delete. So you can delete some of the files and protect them on there. And that is basically gives you everything to set up the camcorder. How you, how you actually want to set the camcorder up, format the memory card, and uh, all sorts of things like that. So again, guys, I've not really dived into the menu much, because, as you know, I don't do technical stuff. So, guys, that's really a little walk around the camcorder. So, uh, now it remains to me to actually go out and uh, take some videos with it. Bye-bye for now.